mortgage was 1200 a month, they lower our mortgage down to $1,000 a month to help us out to get, better, to get back on our feet. Hi there, I'm Paul Berry. A trial modification is the first step to lowering your monthly mortgage payment through the Making Home Affordable program. Every modified mortgage requires at least a three-month trial period. Now, let's talk about how you get a trial modification and what you must do if you are granted one. First, to qualify for a trial period, you have to reach out to your lender or a HUD-approved housing counselor. Your lender has to determine whether you are eligible for the program. Now, your lender or servicer may grant your trial modification based on what you tell them about your situation or with only some of the documents required, but this is not enough to get a permanent modification. You may not know this, but too often, the trial modification fails because homeowners simply forgot to complete the documentation. So this is very important. To receive a permanent modification, you must submit a full set of required documents. Start with the Request for Modification and Affidavit form. You can find this form at makinghomeaffordable.gov or ask your lender or housing counselor for it. They'll also need to see your tax return. One way to submit that is by completing the 4506T Easy Form. This simply authorizes the IRS to release your recent tax return to your lender. And they'll need copies of your recent pay stubs. You can find a checklist of all that is required at makinghomeaffordable.gov. Be sure you're accurate when calculating your income and expenses. The more accurate you are, the more likely you will receive a mortgage payment that you can afford. Miscalculating your situation can result in a payment that's higher than you can afford. It can also delay the processing of your request or disqualify you from the program altogether. If you're not sure how to calculate your income, you can get free help from the Homeowner's Hope Hotline. They can assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Like I said, this paperwork is crucial. And here's where a housing counselor can be a huge help. First, if you're confused about any of this, you can always call a housing counselor. They can answer your questions and they can keep you organized. In many cases, they will mail, fax, or email the documents for you. Staying on top of the process is key. It requires patience. You may already know lenders and services are busy and sometimes hard to reach. But on your own or with a counselor, make staying in touch with them one of your top priorities. Reduce the chance of misplaced or late documents by keeping records of all the conversations you have with your lender or counselor and the paperwork you submit. If you're asked for additional or more up-to-date documents, don't drag your feet on this request. Again, too many people become disqualified during the trial period because of late or incomplete documents. Help yourself avoid this problem by keeping good records. So now, if you do receive a trial modification, you're on the road to a permanent modification and a mortgage payment that is more affordable for you. You'll make a lower monthly mortgage payment for at least three months. Making it past the trial period requires some work. This is new territory for you, so here are some things you should keep in mind. The most important rule is to make those trial payments in full. You must make at least three monthly payments in a row to stay qualified for the program. You should know, during the trial, the terms and conditions of your original loan remain unchanged, and only if you are eligible for the program and after you make all of your trial payments on time and send in any required documentation can your loan be permanently modified. Also, the trial period requires at least three months of payments, but it is possible that at the end of three months you still won't have your permanent modification. Be patient. And above all, keep making the reduced trial payment to which you committed in full. Don't stop. If you do, you are risking all the progress you've made. Many people feel like, now that my payment is lowered, I'm fine, I'm home free. But in fact, that's not the case. That's not accurate. They are not home free until they have made three consecutive, on-time, new low payments and filled out their documents. Now, and this can be confusing, you may be receiving foreclosure notices in the mail as we speak. If you receive a trial modification, while the foreclosure process may continue, you cannot be evicted from your home during the trial period. And 
While your new trial payment amount may not be reflected in your monthly statement, you should still continue to make that new lower payment you agreed to make for the trial period. Bottom line, make that payment no matter what. There is a reason not only to reach out, but a reason to go through some of the more difficult steps that people have to do to save their homes, because then you get a lower payment and you get to sustain your position as a homeowner. You get to save your home. The trial period is your chance to prove to your lender that you are a good investment, that you can make the trial payment consistently. You deserve a shot at that chance. So if you're struggling and you haven't done it yet, pick up the phone. Call your lender or the Homeowners Hope Hotline. They are your allies and they're waiting for your call. I'm not the only one. It's a whole lot of people in the United States going through the same stages that I'm going. So look for help. It's out there.